What's going on, Niner Faithful? What's going on, NFL fans? Um, I'm here to preview the Niners, my Niners, and uh, the Rams uh, game week 17 in L.A. at the Coliseum at 4:25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a one o'clock game if you live in the uh, if you live on the West Coast. But anyways, so the Niners play the Los Angeles Rams before the season finale. Obviously, Rams, it's not the season finale because the Niners or the Rams look ahead into uh, the postseason, um, into the playoffs and all that. So, um, let me just give my predictions really quick. Um, the Niners will lose this game, probably by a big margin, without Todd Gurley. Um, I think the final score will probably be 34. Well, actually, I'm not going to say 34 because they ain't got Todd Gurley. I'm going to say... 28 to 14, um, Niners lose this game. Actually, sorry, 28 17. I'm gonna say Niners. I'm gonna say Kittle gets going. Um, as we know, Matt Breed is out, and Dante Pettis are both placed on injured reserve from getting hurt last game. Um, Dante Pettis has a, an ankle sprain, and Matt Breed also has. Actually, I don't know if Dante Pettis has an ankle sprain. Or not. I don't know why Dante Pettis is out. Something to do with a leg, I think, or an ankle or something. But I do know Matt Breida has a high ankle sprain. Well, it's like a... Okay, so he's had ankle sprains for the past few weeks now. And they finally just placed him on injury reserve because he tweaked his ankle again last week. And if we play in this game and he tweaks it again, it could possibly be something more serious than it would be if it's just a low ankle sprain or like a, uh, a small ankle sprain. So, um, with that being said... Um, this sums up the Niners season after tomorrow. We won't hear, we won't see Niners football until next August, which is a long way. But we have an off season to do. We have the we have the off season to get through, and we also have the draft to get through. And I'm hoping we can get pieces on defense. Hopefully, maybe Bayton or Earl Thomas to come to San Francisco to reunite with Richard Sherman. He also plays his former team twice a year since we're in the NFC West division. I made a video about that. Um, about if the Niners should go out and get Earl Thomas. It's, it was a few days ago. Uh, so if you guys don't, I talk about Earl Thomas and him coming to the Niners and positives of him coming to the Niners and also there's negatives. Well, okay, so there's benefits from him possibly can come to the Niners or there's just like, you know, I, I explained everything in that video. I explained advantages that the Niners have going on and getting him and disadvantages that they do have. Of going out and getting him. So if you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you guys go in that um, on that video, click it and watch that. I go over Earl Thomas and how the Niners could possibly go out and get him. But I do want to do something. I didn't say this in my previous video, but I do want to give a quick shout out to all the people who's been subscribing. I gained like seven, eight subscribers last night from Engra Engraven Stream. So if you guys do not know who I am, Niner J49. Been a diehard Niners fan since 2010. I upload Niners videos um, and other just covering the NFL in general. But more Niners. So if there's any Niners fans that came and subscribed from Engraven's channel, um, you're in the right place because I talk about the Niners more than any NFL team. But I do cover like breaking news and trades and big big time stuff that affects the league um, in general. So if you're a football fan, you're in the right. If you're in the and you're watching this video and not subscribed, you're in the right place. So just click that subscribe button down below and make sure before you leave this video or if you watch until the end, make sure you give this video a like. But anyways, um, back onto the preview. Yeah, um, I think Rams win this game um, by at least two or more touchdowns. Um, but I do gotta say the Niners have played very, very good in these past few weeks. We played the Bears, we played Denver, and we also played the Seahawks. So. We're showing progress. Nick Mullins is not a bad backup quarterback. Um, so, I don't know, man. I just think that it just sucks because you look at it in a way as if the Niners could possibly be in the hunt for making the playoffs. I'm not going to say they would be a secured spot and in the playoffs, but I'd say that they could possibly be in the hunt for the playoffs and that if we look at it in the position as if the Niners were a 9-6 team right now and this was, a, this was a game that the Niners needed to win if Jimmy Garoppolo was still in, It'd be much more exciting, um, but at the end of the day, we have a lot of injuries. It's been a long season. It's been a long five. It'll be five years since Harbaugh's left, and since then, it's just been awful. Injuries, bad luck, 
terrible coaches aside from Kyle Shanahan. I think he was a perfect coach for this team. But it's been a long, long, long ride from for the Niners being, you know, a two-win team when Chip Kelly was in to a five team when we had tired we had when we hired Tom Sola. It's just been a long, long years from since the Niners were actually good. But I'm a part of the faithful and I'm gonna to continue to be part of the faithful through thick and thin and through all these bad times. But I do gotta say one thing. It's gonna feel so good when the Niners are getting the playoffs and we finally get another um we, we get a, a sixth ring. It's gonna be sweet because then you look back at it and say, man, I sat through all those seasons. Wasn't one of those Cocky fans and petty fans that decided to bandwagon. If you're you're a true fan, if you're still a Niners fan, I gotta, I do got to say that. I don't know why my dog's barking. But anyways, yeah, I think the Rams win this game. But I think the Niners score points. I think uh, George Kittle gets going tomorrow. And I think that the Niners can put up points on the Rams. But at the end of the day, um, this is actually the second consecutive year that the Niners have played the Rams in the last game of the season because we played them... I don't. I don't remember back in twenty sixteen if we played. I don't remember who we played the last game of the season, but I do know that last year Jimmy Garoppolo came in um, and just destroyed the Rams. Now, granted, they didn't have their starters playing well. They didn't have Aaron Donald, Golf, or Gurley playing, but it is what it is. The the Niners made a statement last year in the Coliseum. So, but yeah, uh, this is a four twenty five uh, game. Um, who knows? Um, I think players to watch in this game for both the Rams' um, defense and offense and both the Niners' defense and offense. I'm going to say for the offense, I'm going to say that a player to watch in this game is um, George Kittle. I think he has a decent game, and I think he um, – George Kittle is 100 yards away from setting, the, from setting an NFL record, I think. Granted, if I'm wrong, but I think an NFL record for um, – most yards as a tight end in NFL history in one single season. So he's like 100 yards away. But I think that the Niners throw his throw his way tomorrow a lot. And I think that um, – I'm not going to say he gets over 100 yards, but I'm going to say he gets close. It'd be sick if he got over 100 yards. I think we can do it. I think we just got to get him open, and Kyle Shanahan needs to run the, run the right routes. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, he's already a pro bowler. And he's going to be very good for years and years and years to come. Um, but on the Niners' defense, I'm going to say a player to watch in this game. Oh, my back itches. Uh, I'm going to say a player to watch in this game is DeForest Buckner. 12 and a half sec, um, season has had over 60 tackles this season. He's been an absolute animal. Don't know why he didn't get in the Pro Bowl. Don't know why he's an alternative in the Pro Bowl. I think he should have got a secured spot. But I think DeForest Buckner has a few sacks tomorrow. And I think... Um, Leaves off on a high note going into the 2019 NFL season. And on the Rams side, I think a player to watch on the Rams is um, offensively. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say um, Jared Goff. I think Jared Goff has a great game. I think he throws at least 300 yards. Um, and I think he has a good game. Um, but on the defensive side... I'm going to have to say um, Aaron Donald. He played very – I think he had four and a half sacks last time the Niners played uh, the Rams back in like week seven or – it may have been week seven. I don't remember. But <clears> – excuse me. I think he goes off tomorrow. I think Aaron Donald has a few sacks, maybe three. And I think um, the Rams get it done tomorrow against my Niners. But it's been a long season. I, it, this season absolutely flew by. And I don't know if that's because – I was so looking forward to the 2019 season because I'm in the 2019 season. Uh, when Jimmy Garoppolo went down and they uh, they confirmed it to be an ACL tear, I was like, well, I'm in the 2019 season now. I mean, there's no point in staying in this season and trying to get us to win because I know we're just going to pretty much tank the season and get a high draft pick. But we're in a good spot right now. The Niners have a um, – they'll have they, – they're currently sitting at the number two overall pick in the, in, a, in the NFL draft, and that's the highest it's been – in a very long time, because last year we had the, wait a minute, did we trade up for the second pick last year? We did trade up for the second pick last year, so, no, 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 2017 draft, so this is the um, first time since 2017 where we've had, 2016 where, wait, who did we draft last year? 
Mike McGlinchey, that was a 2018. So it's the first year since 2017 draft, uh, two drafts ago, where we've had the number two pick. That's when we traded up to get Solomon Thomas and kind of flanked the Bears in a way, and they traded back uh, because the Bears, I guess, thought we were going to draft Mitch Trubisky, which I don't know. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So we have, I mean, a lot of draft picks next year. We'll have, a, we'll have decent. We have a lot of cap space and money, so I think the Niners need to go out get defensive help. Uh, I think Pierre Garçon will probably be released in this offseason. I'll save that for a separate video. Um, but I think we go out. Dante Pettis is going to be great. Uh, I can't wait to see that connection, uh, Dante Pettis and Garoppolo next season. So there's things to look forward to as a Niners fan, but there's also just this dreadful mourn over this season, and it's been a long season. But hopefully we can stay healthy next season. Hopefully the – Oh, I just hope, man. I just hope we can have a winning season next season. It's been since 2013 when we've had a winning season. Do you know how long that's been? That's like six years since we've had a winning season. I think it's about time for the Niners to stop looking like – we're not looking like the Browns because, like, we don't have – the only thing that's hurting us is injuries. Injuries are the worst part of football, and that's exactly what's hurting us. So, at the end of the day, only thing you can do is just hope for the best and hope that John Lynch spends the money wise and spends money on players and gets good draft picks – Heading into the 2019 season. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. Like I said, I think the Rams beat the Niners by at least 14 tomorrow. Um, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter. This game does not matter at all because we don't have a quarterback. None of the season has mattered since week four since we've Garoppolo went down. Well, Garoppolo went down in week three. But since week four, it's just been 2019 season um, from there on out. So... That's going to be it for the video. I'm going to watch this Bama and Oklahoma game. And uh, with that being said, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, go Niners.